the RC3 is truly the finest CD player that we've ever built. And going beyond that, it is probably the finest CD player that we can build. And there's nothing wrong with you know streaming music. I listen to stream music all day long. But if I really want to sit down for some critical listening, nothing beats a CD player, and that's why we still build them. What people are buying a CD player for, given what's going on today, if you buy a, CD, a dedicated CD player, you're looking for the ultimate reproduction. With the RC3, we wanted to take it to as literally as, as close to perfection as we could get. And with all the test data and everything, we've actually come within 1, D, 1 dB of being theoretically perfect on its reproduction. If you look inside the chassis, you can look on our website and see all the different, see the photos of the interior, and you'll see it's all segmented out. And the purpose of that was to one, give it structural stability, because with a CD player, you're obviously working off an optical medium. So therefore, you've got a laser that's bouncing off of the off of the disc and it's being returned back to the receiver. Vibration adds jitter. So you want to minimize that at all costs. Uh, you need to isolate between the low frequency hum that you're going to get from your AC wall outlet, the 60 cycle, the high frequency clock noise, and the analog stages itself. So by doing different segments. Each part of the unit has its own segmented part within the chassis frame that isolates it from the other parts so they don't get the crosstalk and you don't get all the noise and everything. And this is the same, same approach we took with the power supply itself. The power supply itself is not just one power supply running the whole thing like you'd find in a lot of other units out there. It's not just, here's five volts, and it drives the front panel, it drives the, the tray loader, it drives the optical drive, and the output stage. We got separate power supplies for the audio stage, we got separate power supplies for the digital stage, we got separate power supply just for the tray load itself to run in and out. For the front panel display, it's all separate. And by doing that, everything works at its optimum level. You know, being a CD player, it can work in just about any environment. We tried to make it as universal as possible so that as many people could enjoy it with whatever gear they have. It doesn't matter whether it's our gear or somebody else's. So we've offered an AES EBU output if you've got pro, if you've got pro quality gear. You've got a Toslink output, a coax digital output, and then you've got the analog outputs, both unbalanced and balanced. And those are, I'm talking truly superior design analog stages coming right off of the design of our DC-1 Pro DAC. The DAC that we use is the 801955, and it's one that we've used in a number of other devices. And the reason we keep coming back to it is because it is just sonically one of the best performing DACs we've ever heard. We've tried all the other DACs that everybody's, you know, saying how great they sound and everything. But the reality is the DAC itself is only a very small part of how the entire system is going to sound. You have to look at each and every stage, not just the chip itself. We could put virtually any chip in there and it would probably sound okay. But when you think of it as a whole, the chip itself makes up only 20% of the entire performance of the system. So you have to think of how you're going to get from point A to point Z. And in our case, we looked at what all the work we put into the DC-1 and we carry that over into the ERC-3. We went to a tray load primarily because of feedback from our customers. In the ERC-1 and 2, we used a magnetic loading system, but it was a slot load. But people had a hard time getting beyond the fact that it was a slot load. So we went back to a more traditional tray load that people are very comfortable with. And we listen to our customers, that's what they, they prefer. So in the ERC-3, since we were redoing the entire system from the inside out, that's what we decided to go with. You, the first time you put CD in there and you hit play, I mean, it is, I won't say magical, because I hate using terms like that, but the reality is it almost is. When you, you, the first time you put CD in there and you hit play, I mean, the detail and the openness of the system and the architecture, it just brings out every little nuance in it. I mean, it's just open and airy, but yet it's, it's deep and it's rich and it has all this lusciousness to it. I think people are truly going to be stunned. Thank you.